Это как попадание в новый мир. Тем не менее, у нас все по-прежнему. Well, I'll take that. And, uh... How many rounds? 60 rounds. Damn, boys. Should I, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, real quick. Just, just real quick. Yeah. Train simulator, guys. This is a train simulator. I would basically say that this is my summer car and train sim world four together. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here. Oh, and welcome aboard to Trans-Siberian Railroad Simulator. A game that literally is a survival game as you can see up in the upper left corner. Hunger, thirst, alcohol, hangover, illness, and hypothermia. Where we can literally die from, I don't know, bears or a fallen tree or fire or something horrible. Anyway, we're receiving orders from HQ to hop in our train and go pick up some coal, and this game is a really, actually, realistic and well-done train simulator. I'm actually surprised at how many steps they put into this to really simulate, like, driving a train, which really makes it almost like My Summer Car with what it's like at the beginning of that game to put together your engine and whatnot. But yes, this game taking place during the times of the Soviet Union allows you to go over here and buy stuff from people, like, for example, food and water and flashlights and... Other crazy stuff. Hi there. Good to see you. Oh, is this those, uh, yeah, Grandma's sewing kit? All the cookies and whatnot, right? So, yeah, anyway, our goal here is to go and uh, yeah, look around and basically survive and deliver some coal to what I'd imagine to be a boiler plant or a uh, power plant of some sort. I don't know. Nuclear power plant? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, good to see you all here. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's a fantastic time to do so. Hit that like button and become a member today. We played many a times My Summer Car on this channel and many a time a train simulator, so it's weird to see them both together. Is that literally just a lemon sitting there? What the hell? All right, cool. I guess we're finding free food around. So we can go to those uh, shops in order to buy food and water and whatnot, like I mentioned. We can also go to a mafia shop to buy guns and some other uh, contraband. But we're going to go ahead and jump over to our locomotive and uh, see if we can go ahead and grab some stuff uh, and start up our train. We have a small inventory, a large inventory, and yeah, we can even buy uh, guns for hunting and self-defense against, what, other Mafia members, I suppose. So this game, I'm really shocked, simulates, uh, I was expecting kind of more of just a linear meme but you can see a train actually departing there, hauling some stuff. And at the beginning of the game, a passenger train went that way. And so for all the train simulators we played here on the channel, to which there's quite a few, this one certainly uh, has done its homework on Soviet railways of the 80s, question mark? Anyway, there's our coal train that we're going to pick up, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull forward, or at least it looks like this. It's the same cars. We're going in the same direction basically on the same track so wow yeah look at that there's some wow they did a good job of simulating the sound effects of like snow and stuff and the wind and uh yeah there's lots and lots of factories around so let's get down there and get started so yeah we can find uh food as we go around we can eat and we need to stay in the train as much as possible in order to stay warm so we'll heat ourselves inside the train illness you know uh, a little papers please with having to treat ourselves with very expensive medicine and, uh, you know, the good stuff, you're going to have to pay a premium penny for that. So we start with a thousand bucks, but of course that's a, th a thousand rubles of the Soviet time. And uh, the train can actually be fully worked on, too. There's all these parts here 
where we can do maintenance on things like the suspension and uh, different parts like the speedometer, electronics, and physical parts for the train that whenever we reach a warehouse, we can do the physical repairing on. So there'll be a little wrench out here pretty soon. We should be able to do maintenance on it. So pretty badass. I mean, this is really... I was expecting, again, kind of just more of that typical play way. Hey, this is kind of like, you know, the train's here, but you can't really do much with it. But some things are rendered in, but no. The train is actually fully navigatable. Everything's like, you know, free to move around. You don't just click from point to point or anything like that. So hats off to the devs. Anyway, yeah. So everywhere we need to go is in the upper right corner, the railway signal and other places that we'll be going to for this demo. I don't think this game has a release date at the moment, but it does have this. Soviet Doomer music. Can you believe that? We're going to listen to that jam for sure. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get things started. So yeah, we're in inspection mode now. So if we look at the side view mirror of the train we can actually hover around in like a drone camera and yeah take a look at that nice details on everything very well done very uh, well modeled railway engine I have no idea what one this is but of course it works on electricity as we can see the pentagraph passing all the way through here and uh, I'm not sure if this is the only train in the game or if there's multiple ones so I'd like to definitely see a little bit more about that in the future there's all the parts of the train including all the handles and whatnot that can literally just bust off like our bra our brake and accelerator can just basically rip off if we're not careful so uh yeah let's go ahead and uh, repair some stuff here all right so we need to go down and get the adjustable wrench and let's go ahead and take this off so a little bit of uh, car mechanic simulator here. So this is a broken and busted speedometer. That's got to go. And then we should be able to rip this off. Oh, look at that. It even gives you the white check mark like in My Summer Car when you install stuff. Oh, yeah. That's very helpful for fenders and things like that. Now, this broken part can be sold at the scrapyard, so we actually kind of want to keep this, and we want to get ourselves a replacement, so all the way at the end of these tables is the speedometer we're looking for. There we go. And so we want to make sure we use the fixed one, speedometer 100%. There we go. Ew, look at that. Rusty as hell. One, two, three, four. I declare a Cold War. All right, that should be good. Perfect. All right, locomotive is ready to start. All right, this is going to get annoying. We'll do that when we get on the road. No, not eject. All right, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to skip a lot of the things that they mentioned. They go into really great detail here, but we're just going to follow uh, bit by bit. And uh, we're going to be moving from the other side of the train now. So the coal that we want to grab is on, I think, the right side when we start heading out the correct direction, which might be over on that side. I can't quite recall. All right, turn on the radio. Oh, yeah. So now we can uh, get some orders from HQ. Uh, let's see. The goal is to crush capitalism all right cool we're just just four more years guys or five years or however these plans work we're almost there they're about ready to crumble i'm sure all right that was information on dispatch okay let's go ahead and start with the train so look at all this for those of you who are big train buffs which i'm sure a few people watching here are i mean there's a lot of stuff here about brakes uh, like air supply for the braking and things like the fuel generator, currents going through, different warnings about the train being underpowered at the time, or, uh, you know, like heat warnings, that type of thing. And then, of course, uh, controls for things like the selector, the forwarder, basically, or forward and back and braking uh, and throttle and such. But yeah, it's going to go into some great detail about raising the pentagraph. The pentagram, that's right. We are summoning the power of the demons in order to power this Soviet behemoth. And we're going to flip on the heating, too, so we don't die. And the game will remind us to basically keep the windows and, and doors shut. 
Uh, <laughs> you can do some pretty bad decisions in this game, too. I'm going to have to put the trailer in before this one. But, yeah, you can basically start uh, doing a little drinky-drinky on the job and have some bad times, some real bad times. Plow into other trains. You can derail. You can crash. I mean, you can basically destroy everything. Pretty damn crazy. Wait, money is 940. We were at 1,000 before. Did we have to pay money in order to get that repaired part? <laughs> no. Or we were robbed. All right, we're activating the KFC now. Mm, chicken. Let's go ahead and release that. So we're basically warming up the engine, getting everything ready to go, warming up the brakes, that kind of thing. All right, the engines are turned on. Excellent. Good. We're going to lower the... Oh, actually, we got to... Close the, uh, there we go. Engine is now cooling for low speed. And we need to set the brakes for release. Uh, we got to wait for the leveling reservoir to activate. So we need to, uh, are we waiting? No, we need to do something more here. Which I think means, yeah, that we have to bring this to release and charge. Right there. There we go. That's what we're waiting on. That should charge those brakes. Perfect. All right. Switch to uh, main brake handle and service position. And now we got to get down to about five. There we go. Uh, somewhere between f uh, five and six. Shut off without supply. Back to, there we go. Pressure dropping. And that should hold somewhere around four and a half to five. Somewhere between there. I uh, said two, but we're not moving, so it'll it'll be there when we adjust things. We're just testing. That's optimal there. There we go. Much better. Okay, let's activate the uh, VU, which essentially is the uh, kind of like the safe uh, initiation of the safety systems. Oh, another train rolling through. Ah, uh, there's the coal train. We're gonna have to go pick up. And is that a passenger train? Looks like it could be. But yeah, Mafia shop over there. The hell? Gotta go take a look at what they're selling. Now we're gonna set this to forward. Signalization is on. E pay. Oh boy. There you go. Telling us all about the signal systems. All right, we're going to go to the cabin in the second section of the locomotive now. Now, before we leave, we're definitely going to have to buy some food and water or whatnot. We can die out there. There is, if you don't want to deal with this, by the way, and solely want to play this as just a train simulator, not worrying about food and water, you can put it into simulation mode. There is a survival mode where you can die as we're playing this now. And this will all be uh, bad times, sad times if we die. But there is a way to uh, essentially undo that and uh, put it into just train simulator mode. We need to grab that key out of there. There we go. A little weird angle. Oh, wait, we got to activate the brakes too. Swing that around. There it goes. And back to the other side. Big O engines in here, that's for sure. All right, let's put it put her in H. Put it in H. There we go. And we're ready to drive into position one. And we are literally moving. All right. The train is on the way. Cool. 
All right, we're going to speed up a little bit more. I think we'll go up to position maybe four or five. If we go too quickly, this light at the bottom will indicate that we're uh, putting in too much power. But if any time you have questions about these lights, you kind of just hover over them, and it'll tell you. So high-speed engine cooling is on, field generator is off, things like main currents, amperage, etc., are all there. All right, current goal is to pull up to uh, about there and switch over to the other side. Yep, so about 270 meters, we'll get in front of that railroad switch and then uh, basically back into that train. And before we go, we're probably going to want to buy food and water. Or really hurry to the next location. The Mafia shop has like AKs and such. We'll go take a peek at that before we get on the way. And then uh, there's also food and whatnot at the start. Although they didn't let us buy any of that, but we could have ourselves a good old uh, lemon. How lovely. Is there a way I could just set this down? Is there like a... Or we could drag it into our inventory. Ah, oh, there you go, okay. So we'll do the same. Cool. All right, so it's like we have a big old backpack on or a lunch pail or whatnot. Press X to sit down and now we're in for a long, cozy ride. So long as we uh, don't starve and uh, don't die. Now, what's interestingly well done is the hangover thing I kind of already have some implications for us that we were either having a party the previous night or that we have a particular condition that will need to be nursed with the additional thirst options uh, I think there's multiple foods in this game too that give different uh, you know hunger replenishment so you can buy small medium and large meals that cost different amounts but obviously the uh, you probably want to eat somewhere around the midway point with midway meals and always have a backup just in case but again in the trailer for this one it shows down trees there's reasons where you're going to have to stop and leave the train and do stuff that <laughs> puts you in the way of danger so and it's really cool well done there's like uh, people walking around the the station too you got like security walking around and you've got uh, you know maintenance personnel and other technicians and whatnot that are needed to be moving all the time so all right, well, pretty much we can start to bring it to a stop now. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and pull off the uh, main handle. And she'll pretty much roll to a stop if we let it. But it'll take quite some time. Let's go ahead and just use the locomotive brake handle. If they let us. No, all right. And we'll just put it into... No. All right, they won't let us do that either. Oh, we're locked by the tutorial then, I suppose. They want us to be a certain distance. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Wait for the train to stop. And then we're going to throw it into reverse and couple the cars. As soon as we change the railroad, uh, railroad switch setting. Also, if you stand in front of a door, they kind of get, like, stuck. you got to, like, stand out of the way. Oh, not bad. Plenty of room. Beautiful. All right, that's our target right there, railroad cars. Oh. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, nice. Hauling fuel. All right, once we back in here, I think we'll go see the Mafia. All right, let's put it in an MR or reverse. There we go. And we'll start back. Oh, well, well first we got to disengage the brake. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this and how much work they put into it. I was expecting something along the lines of Choo Choo Charles where it was just basically forward and reverse, fast and slow, and that was pretty much it with the dials looking fancy. So I'm delightfully surprised to see that this is well put together with all the different you know, switches and whatnot. And it's rather complicated and intimidating at first look, but you realize which ones are the most important. Ooh, can we buy? Oh, cool. I think we can buy different cassettes and whatnot. That's awesome. Also, we don't want to go too fast. Hold on. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's see. So, yeah. Let's plop that back in. Do I just hit eject? Play? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Go to a different song. 
Wow, it actually works like a cassette player. Oh, um, <clears throat> kids, this is a cassette player. What this would do is it would take little plastic, um, like, wave files or like an MP3 and it would play it physically via a speaker. That's right. Wow. Oh, wow. Gonna take a while to back that thing up that far, but, uh, any faster and we're gonna do damage to the cars and we don't want to do that now once we couple to these cars the game will give us about an hour to travel as far as we need to and the game again is called Trans-Siberian Railway so I don't know if it's all of the Trans-Siberian Railway or if it's a massive section of it or most of it or like 10% of it but uh, the location really I think is the focus here with some of these locations seeming rather realistic but I mean again all these assets done over here I mean, look, we got the guy walking around. Pretty realistic animation for him. We've got all the platforms, all the tracks, stations. Looks to be small offices and, uh, you know, fuel refinery lines and stuff all around. And massive structures and buildings that... Uh, it's probably likely a kindergarten over there, judging by the giant smokestack. I mean, who knows? <laughs> All right, mar uh, yeah, they're still marking that mafia shop. That's interesting. I really wish at the beginning of this game, though, they would let us buy stuff. But I, I think they don't want you to get too carried away and spend all your money at one place. Oh, it looks like some box cars coming in now. And a grain hopper, perhaps. All right, let's see how uh, well this connects. Let's get a sweet top-down shot. As we're about to couple to the coal cars. So, yeah, it looks like this simulates a lot of different cargo and even passengers, and I hope that there's a whole uh, story that plays out that you have to learn subtly. This definitely gives me vibes of, like, contraband police, papers please, any sort of uh, car mechanic type simulator, train simulators, and uh, of course my summer car. All right. I can't use any of the brakes. All right, they want us to get to, there we go. They want us to get to, uh, Novobirsk Glevny in about an hour. But before we even start that. Wait a minute. Okay. We're going to totally leave our train unattended, run across multiple tracks, which is such a great idea. Totally smart in every way, shape, and form. And the hell? <laughs> I guess we're going to have to go to the end of this. We're gonna go check out that mafia shop and see what they're selling and what we can buy. Oh, they got personnel everywhere. Yeah, you got people. All right, it was interesting to see people walking up and down the tracks, but you got people standing around nowhere. I don't know what they're doing. Train watching. Ma'am. Ma oh, this is a road here. Sir, sorry. Uh huh. Same to you. Oh. Celery? We could just find, like, onions and stuff just laying around. Probably not a bad idea to look around for stuff like that. Oh, tasty. Mmm. It helped our hunger a little bit, but we gotta buy something for the thirst. That's better. Whoa! Alright, well, I'll take that. And, uh... How many rounds? 60 rounds. Damn, boys. Should I, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just gonna yeah, real quick. Just just real quick. Yeah. Train simulator, guys. This is a train simulator. Yep. It's a little bit of a train sim. Just, you know, standard, standard, just a standard train sim. Just your everyday, like, hey, let's go play a train simulator. Train simulator. Wait a minute. That other guy had a gun on him. Hold on. Can we check bodies? Hold on. Let's just, you know, train sim. It's a train sim, so we just gotta... Oh, he's still twitching. That's eh, alright. He'll... Oh, wait. Yeah, we don't have to pay him anymore. There we go. Thanks, boys. Wait, there's 9mm rounds. Or, well, TT-33s. Ah, there we go. <laughs> cool. Now we got an AK so we can slay from far away and make anybody hit the DECK. And also a, uh, hold on. Oh wow, people freak out too. This is a train simulator, guys. Train simulator. It's a train simulator. Simulating trains. That guy's. That guy's. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna walk out in front of a train. All right. Anyway, go ahead and put some of these in storage. So obviously, this would probably have some pretty big uh, repercussions at the. Uh, you know, in the game. Funny how we can't get, get uh, money back. But yeah, I, I'm assuming word of our activities would spread to other stations and either the authorities or the, even worse, the mafia would get hold of us. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy some stuff now. So yeah, if you want to do the whole train simulator part, this is a simulator. I've said it before, I think. You can do the whole, you know, simulator mode. This is the survival mode, though, which makes it way more interesting. All right, let's go back to... Uh, the little store. They didn't really indicate where the store was anymore. We have to go back to the main station, though. Which, um... We pulled out of here, and then we switched that way. So we need to go, like, all the way back over there. Like, the main station's over there. So let's see how much of this map is rendered. Look at how lonely and just... Sad, though. Oh, God. That is sad. Ugh. It, ugh, they blocked it. All right, there's the actual station. Wait, I can't get back there. Oh, actually, the station's there. Sorry, I got all turned around. Okay. Look at all those buildings, man. There's the shops down there. That's where I want to go. So either that's blocked off because of, you know, demo, or it's blocked off because of... This is a train simulator, by the way. It's a train simulator. <laughs> I wish they would comment on what shooting uh, people in the Mafia would do in the face. I guess we could eat out of the garbage can if we were desperate enough. You do crazier things in uh, my summer car anyway. Alright, what are you guys selling? Alright, back to the shops. What do we got? <laughs> Carrots and broccoli, alright. Some knives, the hell? What do you got, pal? Ooh, white bro... 30 for... Oh, three. Yeah, I'll take those. Yep, yeah, good. No. I, I'm, I'm just going to grab a big old thing of cabbage, some brock, a couple onions. Maybe I can make a stew. I, I think we're supposed to eat all the food raw. I'm just going to buy everything. It's a demo after all. Who cares? But yeah, I... I I wonder if we can make, like, a stew or something. Maybe we can buy, like, a cooking pot or something. Heat it up on the engine. There we go. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow, banana, dude. Well, let's buy a couple of these. Just a couple of these. We're probably going to find more on the way, let's be honest. Milk. That'll deal with the whole thirsty thing. crazy. What the hell is that? What the hell? A chainsaw? Bro, I didn't even see this at the be For what? I, I guess to cut down a downed tree, for sure. Sprats. What the hell is that? I have, I have no idea what that is. Is that like meat? 
Whoa, bro, what's up? Stalin beer? All right. Do you have lower prices? Oh, a flashlight. Cool. All right, bye, guys. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, get... What? Oh. Wow. So, um, one thing we've learned is don't mess with shop owners. They are basically the mob. They're basically the mob. Let's try with this and see. I, I can't believe it. I shot in the air and they got mad. Let's try from a distance. Wow. No way. Wow. All right. Let's try that again. But this time from. Whoa. Whoa. whoa what the hell? Just seeing me with a gun? Bro, I work for the railroad. Same team, bro. It is hard to rob, dude. Wow. All right, forget this. <laughs> All right, I got all my stuff. I'm I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, what do we got in here? What the hell? Doctor's sausage. <laughs> the hell? Uh, looks like a free item. Someone was hanging out in here. Cool. Hidden sausage in the uh, storeroom, I guess. And we can't go that way. All right then. Well, let's get back to our damn train. All, every single one of these guys has a gun. Everybody here is the Mafia. You got Mafia A and Mafia B. I wonder if we can go inside the train station. Let's see. Well, we can. When are we going to meet for coffee? Oh, you want to go on a date? Hey, what's up? Oh, I can't go back there. Darn. A pair off the floor. What the hell? No, 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 no. You know what? No. I'm out. I'm out. And this guy's security. Don't mess with these dudes. All right, everybody's got a gun. Okay, back to our train and we're on our way. I cannot believe the kookiness in this game. Just at the first station in a demo. This could be, this game could have the potential to be the next uh, My Summer Car that explodes for a lot of people who love that game and trains too and trying it out. Now, of course, My Summer Car has a lot more freedom than this game does because, of course, you, <laughs> it's a car, it's not a train. But there could be some stuff like that in this game at some point. You never know. There could be something. I'm just saying, there could be something. All right, let's get back on the train and get back on the railroad, brother. All right. Oh, and uh, is our vision going red because it's like thirst? I wonder if that's the case. Let's have a brewski, bruh. Oh, and we dropped it. Okay, maybe we should have a, not a beer. That, that'll be for after work. Let's have ourselves a, uh, a milk. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Does a body good. All right, seems like the sun's going down. I wonder if we could buy a watch, or if there's some sort of way to tell time. Probably in the controls, but you know me. I don't have time for that. I just want to play the games, and then do it wrong. Like going to the wrong end of the train. That's one thing I like to do. Okay. Actually, wait. Not a bad thing to check out... ...and see if there's anything there. Now, just junk. Okay, so another way to make money is, of course, one, to actually deliver cargo via trains, two, to take scrap and other things that we find along the way and sell that to the scrapyards. So those are some fun ways to make money. So we're basically using our main job as a way to make more money. Since we're essentially like a traveler who can go to point A to point B, there might also be the chance of buying goods for one price, maybe, buying them from one price and selling them for another. Oh, hell yeah, brother. All 
All right, let's go. Oh, they want us to do emergency braking? Oh, they're teaching us more about the damn train. Look, I've already done this, sir. Oh. Wait, the train's never gonna stop. I can't adjust the brakes. Right down. Oh, there we go. Service braking. I can't adjust the braking anymore. We literally have to be at zero. Sun's going down, lol. 48 minutes. I wonder what the distance is to our next... Uh, I don't have a map or anything like that, so I'm not even sure what the next... Uh, like, what the distance is to the next stop. Yeah, the devs have done that thing where in a tutorial or in a uh, in a demo, they don't let you adjust stuff. So we're at 0.4 kilometers per hour. There's a ton of coal pushing us forward. So we could be here for quite some time since I can't increase the strength of the brake. Or really adjust anything. Uh, let's try this. Nope, can't do the handbrake. Brake pressure's all zero. God, we're gonna go for a long ass time. any way we're going to be able to stop this damn train. I mean, we're essentially stopped. I think it ain't going to do nothing. We're going to be at point 0.4 for a long ass time. They're literally looking for the value to be zero. I can't do window heating. Oh, wow, the windows can, yeah, they can ice over and fog up for sure. Wow. Oh, well. When in Rome, screw it. You know we had to. Train sim, guys. Train sim. Now that's funny. Why is this smoking when the I didn't even shoot? It's like they're mirrored. No full auto. Try the handgun. Oh, wait a minute. Chainsaw, bro. All right, and handgun too. Let's try chainsaw. At least we don't have to buy fuel for it. Someone shooting at me? Hey! They're not shooting at me. Oh god, I hear fire. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Train simulator. This is a train simulator. It sure is. Well, guys, that's all the time I have today for the Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator demo, a game that I thought was just going to be a meme, and actually I'm quite impressed with the amount of detail in here. We didn't really get to go too far, and, you know, it's kind of totally self-explanatory. Once you hit the rails, you just follow the signals and come to a stop. But 
This is certainly a game that's got a lot of surprises on the way, and I'm looking forward to its full release sometime soon, and uh, hopefully it does get one. Hell, it'd be great to see mods for this game, multiplayer, and more. So if you'd like to see more on the channel, make sure you subscribe right now and turn on that notification bell. Welcome to all you new subs. Thank you very much for watching. You guys are amazing, and I hope to see you all soon. Goodbye.